Welcome back everyone. So today we are doing a pair of shoes. So the medium that we are going to be using today is Anita's Textile Medium. This is a medium that you mix with paints and it makes it a little bit more fluid but it also is a binder which helps keep the paint flexible and from chipping off and it helps it adhere and become washable for clothes and shoes and other fun fabric mediums. So I have a friend that is going on a trip to Disney with her family and every year she goes as a Beauty and the Beast themed bell, that kind of stuff, and so she asked me if I could do a pair of white shoes with a little bit of a Beauty and the Beast bell kind of theme to it. So today we are going to do, I want to start by doing a little pour straight across, maybe like from here down the sides. So it'll be across the front and then following this line right here and just kind of over and down. And then once that's fully dry, we'll come in and we'll add a little detail and same on the side, another detail for Beauty and the Beast, whether it's the rose or the mirror or another iconic thing about it, maybe even chip. Might even add chip to the side, a little chip and Mrs. Potts, that'd be adorable. We'll see. For now, let's talk about the medium and mixing the colors. So for the, the pour itself, it's going to be about one part medium to two parts paint. And then for the actual painting stuff, it's going one part medium to three parts paint. But play until you get the right consistency. And for the fluid paint, I don't want to go like too heavy color. I was thinking maybe a little bit of Gold, maybe, white, and let's see, maybe a splash of pink, and maybe some, yeah, so pink, yellow, white, and some gold, if I can find what I did with it. There you go. I'll use Artist Loft Gold, these are Royal and Lingnickel pinks, Reeves Yellow, and Hopefully I have enough white in this Lucas Krill. And these are going to be the colors that we're going to use to mix up and then put into the syringes, pour it across, get it time to dry, and then we'll be back to hand paint the little Beauty and Beast details. Alright, so I got some quick little medicine cups and a little cap. So I only have three medicine cups in four colors, so we're just going to put a small amount of paint in each one. Initially, we want enough to fill this. There we go, nice and fluid. All right, so we have our colors mixed up. Let's put those aside. Let them settle for a minute. Now we're going to jump into the shoes. We got to tape up. Since we don't want it running down the rubber, we don't want it up anywhere else. We're just going to tape off a lot of the area that we don't want it to touch. So I'm just going to time lapse this part. Okay, so we got them all taped up. I put down a mix between the textile medium and the Liquitex matte just to act as like a gesso or a sealer because there's going to be a lot of paint going on and I didn't want it to seep through even though I have paper and stuff underneath just in case. I got all the paint already put in the syringe and now we just got to make a mess.
All right, bring it up for a close-up so you guys can see. So we have like the drip look. It's kind of mixed together. Looks a little chaotic right now, which I'm okay with because once this is fully dry, I'm just going to be turning around and painting over it. We'll be adding more of that enchanted look. <laughs> the classic Beauty and the Beast vibe going on with it. So I will be back once these are dry and then we can come in and hand paint on the details. I'll see you then. Alright, so I had one little issue then I was like, okay, I gotta clean this up real quick. And the battery is still on the charger, so it was bleeding all down the side, so I had to take the tape off, clean it up. But that's where they're at right now which I am loving, and then we're going to come in and add some detail and some phrasing and a rose and some other stuff. That should show you a little bit better. Yeah, now that there's a light up above, it's still drying a little bit. And then I also came in with my um, Tulip Slick white 3D paint, and I just outlined just right there, right in between. So it ended up giving it a very like geode kind of feel to it right now, but we are going to fix that. I have all my paints pre-mixed with the gold, two blacks. This one is a phthalo green, a sap green, a crimson red, a scarlet red. The one's called Scarlet Lake. And then the Craftsmart bright gold, and then white with a mix of that white metallic. And each one of them has anywhere from two to four drops, depending on the paint, to get it to the right like, consistency where it's not fluid, but it's not overly thick. So I grabbed the rest of that paint that I had mixed up in those little cups and I grabbed my old college art shirt that was covered in paint and everything else that I used to wear instead of a an apron and came in and just played we threw in oh, I threw all of those colors in one cup poured it on kind of smeared it out made it very abstract I'm loving that gold look at that oh it's exciting and then I used my three um, black and white come in and add the word art in a little frame. So I'm excited to get this, once this is dry, I'll be able to put it on and show you guys, but I didn't want to waste any of that paint. Because why not? All right, so let's time lapse this and get the painting. I think I'm gonna start with this side first and then move on and I will see you guys at the end. All right, everyone, one last view. So I came in and I did my gold border piping and I continued that line. Instead of just ending it up here, I continued it down the other side. So you can see that nice gold running down this side. And then last, I'm gonna come in with the Rust-Oleum Never Wet. It's a two-step author purpose 
coating system and it keeps well, from getting wet. So it'll help keep dirt off, it'll help keep anything off of these for her. So yeah, we're gonna spray that down and that'll be it. But I just wanted to show you guys these with the piping. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys enjoy this? I know I did. And I love the way they finished. Oh, they're, I don't know, I think they're so cute. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.